Crystal field theory CFT is a model that describes the breaking of degeneracies of electron orbital states, usually d or f orbitals, due to a static electric field produced by a surrounding charge distribution anion neighbors. This theory has been used to describe various spectroscopies of transition metal coordination complexes, in particular optical spectra colors. CFT successfully accounts for some magnetic properties, colors, hydration enthalpies, and spinel structures of transition metal complexes, but it does not attempt to describe bonding. CFT was developed by physicists Hans Bethe and John Hasbruck van Vleck in the 1930s. CFT was subsequently combined with molecular orbital theory to form the more realistic and complex ligand field theory, LFT, which delivers insight into the process of chemical bonding in transition metal complexes. Topic overview of crystal field theory According to crystal field theory, the interaction between a transition metal and ligands arises from the attraction between the positively charged metal cation and negative charge on the non-bonding electrons of the ligand. The theory is developed by considering energy changes of the five degenerate d orbitals upon being surrounded by an array of point charges consisting of the ligands. As a ligand approaches the metal ion, the electrons from the ligand will be closer to some of the d orbitals and farther away from others, causing a loss of degeneracy. The electrons in the d orbitals and those in the ligand repel each other due to repulsion between light charges. Thus the d electrons closer to the ligands will have a higher energy than those further away which results in the d orbitals splitting in energy. This splitting is affected by the following factors, the nature of the metal ion, the metal's oxidation state. A higher oxidation state leads to a larger splitting relative to the spherical field, the arrangement of the ligands around the metal ion, the coordination number of the metal i.e. tetrahedral, octahedral, the nature of the ligands surrounding the metal ion. The stronger the effect of the ligands then the greater the difference between the high and low energy d groups. The most common type of complex is octahedral. Here six ligands form an octahedron around the metal ion. In octahedral symmetry the d orbitals split into two sets with an energy difference delta October the crystal field splitting parameter where the dxy dxz and dyz orbitals will be lower in energy than the dz2 and dx2y2 which will have higher energy because the former group is farther from the ligands than the latter and therefore experiences less repulsion the three lower energy orbitals are collectively referred to as T2 grams, and the two higher energy orbitals as e.g., these labels are based on the theory of molecular symmetry. Typical orbital energy diagrams are given below in the section high spin and low spin. Tetrahedral complexes are the second most common type, here four ligands form a tetrahedron around the metal ion. In a tetrahedral crystal field splitting, the d orbitals again split into two groups, with an energy difference of delta tet. The lower energy orbitals will be dz2 and dx2y2, and the higher energy orbitals will be dxy, dxz, and dyz, opposite to the octahedral case. Furthermore, since the ligand electrons in tetrahedral symmetry are not oriented directly towards the d orbitals, the energy splitting will be lower than in the octahedral case. Square planar and other complex geometries can also be described by CFT. The size of the gap delta between the two or more sets of orbitals depends on several factors, including the ligands and geometry of the complex. Some ligands always produce a small value of delta, while others always give a large splitting. The reasons behind this can be explained by ligand field theory. The spectrochemical series is an empirically derived list of ligands ordered by the size of the splitting delta that they produce small delta to large delta, see also this table, I minus it is useful to note that the ligands producing the most splitting are those that can engage in metal to ligand backbonding. The oxidation state of the metal also contributes to the size of delta between the high and low energy levels. As the oxidation state increases for a given metal, the magnitude of delta increases. A V3 plus complex will have a larger delta than a V2 plus complex for a given set of ligands, as the difference in charge density allows the ligands to be closer to a V3 plus ion than to a V2 plus ion. The smaller distance between the ligand and the metal ion results in a larger delta, because the ligand and metal electrons are closer together and therefore repel more.
Topic: <laughs> High spin and low spin. Ligands which cause a large splitting delta of the d orbitals are referred to as strong field ligands, such as Cn- and CO from the spectrochemical series. In complexes with these ligands, it is unfavorable to put electrons into the high energy orbitals. Therefore, the lower energy orbitals are completely filled before population of the upper sets starts according to the Aufbau principle. Complexes such as this are called low spin. For example, NO2- is a strong field ligand and produces a large delta, the octahedral ion iron 6 nitrite 3-, which has 5d electrons, would have the octahedral splitting diagram shown at right with all 5 electrons in the T2 g level. The low spin state therefore does not follow Hund's rule. Conversely, ligands like I- and bridge- which cause a small splitting delta of the d orbitals are referred to as weak field ligands. In this case, it is easier to put electrons into the higher energy set of orbitals than it is to put two into the same low energy orbital, because two electrons in the same orbital repel each other. So, one electron is put into each of the 5d orbitals before any pairing occurs in accord with Hund's rule and high spin complexes are formed. For example, bridge minus is a weak field ligand and produces a small delta October. So, the ion iron 6 bromide 3 minus, again with 5d electrons, would have an octahedral splitting diagram where all five orbitals are singly occupied. In order for low spin splitting to occur, the energy cost of placing an electron into an already singly occupied orbital must be less than the cost of placing the additional electron into an e.g. orbital at an energy cost of delta, as noted above, e.g. refers to the dz2 and dx2y2 which are higher in energy than the t2 grams in octahedral complexes. If the energy required to pair two electrons is greater than delta, the energy cost of placing an electron in an e.g., high spin splitting occurs. The crystal field splitting energy for tetrahedral metal complexes four ligands is referred to as delta tet, and is roughly equal to 4 ninths delta October for the same metal and same ligands. Therefore, the energy required to pair two electrons is typically higher than the energy required for placing electrons in the higher energy orbitals. Thus, tetrahedral complexes are usually high spin. The use of these splitting diagrams can aid in the prediction of magnetic properties of coordination compounds. A compound that has unpaired electrons in its splitting diagram will be paramagnetic and will be attracted by magnetic fields, while a compound that lacks unpaired electrons in its splitting diagram will be diamagnetic and will be weakly repelled by a magnetic field. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Crystal field stabilization energy. The crystal field stabilization energy CFSE is the stability that results from placing a transition metal ion in the crystal field generated by a set of ligands. It arises due to the fact that when the d orbitals are split in a ligand field as described above, some of them become lower in energy than before with respect to a spherical field known as the barycenter in which all 5d orbitals are degenerate. For example, in an octahedral case, the T2 g set becomes lower in energy than the orbitals in the barycenter. As a result of this, if there are any electrons occupying these orbitals, the metal ion is more stable in the ligand field relative to the barycenter by an amount known as the CFSE. Conversely, the e.g. orbitals in the octahedral case are higher in energy than in the barycenter, so putting electrons in these reduces the amount of CFSE. If the splitting of the d orbitals in an octahedral field is delta October, the three T2 g orbitals are stabilized relative to the barycenter by two fifths delta October, and the e.g. orbitals are destabilized by three fifths delta October. As examples, consider the two d5 configurations shown further up the page. The low spin top example has five electrons in the T2 g orbitals, so the total CFSE is five by two fifths delta October. Topic 2 delta October. In the high spin lower example, the CFSE is 3 by 2 fifths delta October, 2 by 3 fifths delta October. 
zero in this case, the stabilization generated by the electrons in the lower orbitals is cancelled out by the destabilizing effect of the electrons in the upper orbitals. Optical properties The optical properties details of, absorption and emission spectra of many coordination complexes can be explained by crystal field theory. Often, however, the deeper colors of metal complexes arise from more intense charge transfer excitations. Geometries and crystal field splitting diagrams See also Schottky anomaly — Low temperature spike in heat capacity seen in materials containing high spin magnetic impurities, often due to crystal field splitting Ligand field theory Molecular orbital theory <laughs>